Hey guys, we're back with our Bravely Default 2 playthrough. we got a quick cutscene to watch, and then we'll be back in Savalon. Okay, my bad a little bit. I uh, This cutscene started, and I had uh, I forgot to hit record, so she just walked up and said his name. That's the only thing we really missed. But I have just taken delivery of a simply divine vintage. Do not disturb me. Unless, that is, you wish to return to the squalor from which you came? He is not nice Sorry. to her. Fine clothes, fine music, and fine food and drink. What else does a man live for? How else can one revel in the glory of existence? I... I'm sorry. Please don't send me away. Oh, stop fretting, you foolish child. Shut up and do as I say, and all will be just as it should be. Okay. He's really not nice He's to her. A good girl. Anyway, I've finished now. Make your report. Orpheus attacked the princess as you ordered. As he ordered. But he was beaten and now he's run away. Like a wimp. <laughs> Pathetic. I had thought his history with the royal nuisance would be sufficient to spur him on. But it seems not. Very well, you may leave. And what to do now, I wonder? I suppose the first order of business will be a little chat with a certain interested party. Who could that be? Alright, party chat. He makes my skin crawl. I cannot stand that Orpheus guy. Me neither. The way he speaks, even the way he moves, literally everything about him makes my skin crawl. So why the heck can't I stop his stupid face from popping up every try every time I try not to think about it? I get that too. Sometimes the more you try not to think about someone, the more you can't help it. Gah! And now it's happening again. I can literally see his stupid grin. It's horrible. You're probably still annoyed because he got away. I know I am. What's done is done. The matter is in Prince Castor's hands now. You knew Orpheus back in Musa, right, Gloria? Was he always such a pain? Well, he was certainly always a rather dramatic person. Prone to exaggeration and so forth. I can see that. Prone to narcissism and self-obsession, more like. I'm guessing he's always been nothing but talk, though, right? Like, as soon as he, the going gets tough, he falls to pieces? Precisely. No wonder he'd rather feel sorry for himself for having been caught stealing from your father than face up to his actual problems. Yeah, there really isn't a single good thing about him, huh? Well, at least I know why he gets me so badly now. Thanks, Gloria. Oh, um, of course. I'm not entirely sure how I helped exactly. Okay. Back to Savalon. Maybe a couple battles along the way. So close to leveling up the vanguard on our main character there. One more battle should do it. There we go. So Enrage is a good abil ability that we just learned because it makes sure everyone attacks you for a couple turns. So it's really easy to just buff one character and use Enrage and then it gives you time to like heal up your other characters and stuff.
Prince Castor. I, I have been looking for you everywhere. Everywhere. Obviously not, because you didn't find us. And now you have found me. Princess Gloria, I must insist that you refrain from taking the prince out of the city without notifying the relevant authorities. I was not taken anywhere, Dromed. I went of my own free will. Your Highness, whilst I understand your desire to aid our nation's allies, might I remind you that Musa is no more. There is precious little benefit to be gained from spending your valuable time on lost causes. Whoa! Aren't you highborn people supposed to be polite? I am simply stating the truth. Musa may be no more, Dromed, but our duty to Princess Gloria is very much alive and well. Her Highness and her friends will remain until such time as they have ascertained the truth of the situation regarding the crystal. And during that time, they will continue to be our honored guests. But, 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 uh, as you wish, Your Highness. But please, I must beg you to conclude your dealings here quickly, Princess Gloria, for Savaron's sake. When your business here is done, Prince Custer, you are needed at the palace. Can't say I'm feeling too welcome right now. Well, you can hardly blame them for not wanting the prince bogged down with our business. Uh, the king is missing after all. Dromid means well, I assure you. Forgive him. Oh, please. It's entirely understandable. I'm sure I would feel exactly the same in his position. You are too kind as ever, Your Highness. She is kind. You know, I get the feeling that our distracting the prince isn't all that Dromed's worried about. It seems to me that he has another reason for wanting us out of the way. I cannot begin to imagine what else might be on his mind. But I will ask him, if it makes you feel better. For now, I must return to the palace. I will rejoin you when my business there is concluded. Being a prince must be hard work. Not that we have it easy, I guess. Aye. Someone tells me Bernard's not going to be telling us where he's hidden this crystal without some arm twisting. Probably not. Perhaps his companion can help us. The girl. Yeah. What was her name again? Annie Hell? Yes, that was it. Let's see if we can track her down. So when you're looking for Anna Hall, we're going to go up here. And, uh, such a nice looking city. It's a shame it's half buried. Well, not buried, but underwater. Hey, look. Just feed him well, and he'll be fine. Thank you so much for helping him. What are you doing? Get away from my daughter. I told you not to go near her. Away with you. Man, go everyone's on, mean to Anna Hall. Hey, there's no need to talk to her like that. Hmm? And who are you exactly? It doesn't matter who I am. She helped your dog. The least you can do is thank her. I did not ask for her help. And I am not in the habit of thanking vagrants. Come, we are leaving. Uh, all right. You okay? I'm fine. You're the one from... before. Yep. Good to see you again. You want to tell me what just happened? I was born into a traveling circus. I've only been in the city since Bernard took me in. They don't like me here. They call me Vagrant. Outsider. Well, it can take time to settle in somewhere new. It's the same for everyone. I know. At least they let me live here. Thanks for sticking up for me. Bye. Wait. That was what nice of us. We... We're looking for something. That's why we're here in Savalon. We were wondering if we might ask you a question or two. Okay. Can we do it at my house? I have to feed everyone. Huh? Feed everyone? This is my house. You... you keep monsters? This is the everyone you were talking about? Yes. It's their dinner time. Come on, little ones. Din-dins. What? Here, Bernie. 
Oh, you must be hungry. Did she name that one after Bernard? <sighs> what is it? Uh, nothing. Better not tell her I was worried we were the Dindins. So, you live with a bunch of animals and monsters, huh? I've had them all since I was in the circus. Our caravans were attacked by bandits when we came near the city. My friends here protected me. That's how I managed to survive. I was the only one. I... That's I'm sad. so sorry to hear that. It's not so bad. Now I have Bernard. He lets me work at the gaming hall. And he lets me live here with my friends. The money he gives me helps me look after them all. I don't know what I'd do if he ever sent me away. And why would he do that? I don't know. That's just what he says. If I ever let him down, he'll get rid of me. That's horrible. You're not some thing he can just cast aside? He's allowed. He's the one who saved me. Wow. You said you were looking for something. Yes. It's a blue jewel, about this big. The crystal. You know what it is? Yes. You do? Really? Please, tell us everything you know. Any information you can give us is sure to prove useful. I... I'm sorry. I can't help you. If I do, Bernard will send me away. But you have to. You... Sorry. You need to leave. <sighs> She's not gonna tell us anything, huh? No, and I don't want to push her too far, either. She's been through enough. I suppose we'll just have to look elsewhere, then, eh? What about the people we saw talking to Orpheus in front of the gaming hall? They seem to be rather angry with Bernard. Perhaps one of them might know something useful. Perhaps. Hey. I was wondering if I could ask you about Bernard. Bernard? Hmm. Judging by the look on your face, this is serious. Come with me. It should be safe to talk here. What did you want to know? Well, one of my family's heirlooms, a great treasure, has been stolen, and we may have heard a rumor that it was Bernard who was responsible. Is that so? Well, it certainly sounds possible. You see, he may be the proprietor of the gaming hall these days, but that is not how his career began. He was once a renowned thief. A renowned? An accomplished one, by all accounts. Some say he even stole the building which now houses the gaming hall. It used to be the mansion of an elder by the name of Lupus. Interesting. And if the same rumors are to be believed, he keeps all his ill-gotten gains in that building over there. They say he can be seen going in and out at all hours of the day and night. Has anybody tried to get inside? Well, yes, but they died soon after. A very unfortunate accident. Or a warning to anyone accident. else foolish enough to try the same thing. I like Bernard less and less the more I hear about him. He is dangerous. Please, be careful. There you are. Prince Custer. I have explained my position to Dromed. Bernard's behavior is a black mark on our nation's name. His wicked deeds must be exposed. I hope you will forgive me for using your presence as an opportunity to cleanse my kingdom of wrongdoers, Your Highness. In return, I will, of course, assist you in any way that I can. To that end, I hope that my joining you will smooth your passage through Sabalon. Do you have any objections to my accompanying you? Of course not, Your Highness. How could we refuse the offer of a prince's aid? You honor us. The honor is all mine. Now tell me, did you learn any more of the situation? We sure did. So, listen to this. Intriguing. It seems further investigation is in order. Shall we? Alright, so now we go over here to this building. Which conveniently has a bridge over it now.
Anyhow? What are you doing here? Please. You have to leave. Why? And how did you know we'd be coming? You're good people. I don't want to hurt you. Please. Foreshadowing. Don't go in there. Sorry. But if you came all this way just to stop us, that means there's something important in there for sure. I... I won't warn you twice. It's gonna be like that, huh? I'm sorry. I am sorry too, Anihal. But we really must see what's inside. If we don't, then it is not only Savalon that will be in danger. It is the whole world. What? I must retrieve the water crystal, Anihal. So we're gonna change up jobs just a little bit. We're gonna give we're gonna give Gloria this bard job. Just to level it up a little bit. Um, it gives it gives good buffs like physical damage, magical damage, which is gonna be good for boss fights, just some good damage reduction. Can I carry something for you perhaps? Huh? Uh, no. I'm okay, thanks. Careful, Adele. Watch your footing. Er, okay. Has something happened? Prince Castor's been treating us like dirt this whole time, and now he wants to be our friend all of a sudden? Aye, he's being weirdly polite, eh? Has he changed his mind about us or something? He's been like this ever since we got to the Sandswept Ruins. Maybe he's decided we're not stinky commoners after all. I wonder if he was perhaps more preoccupied than hostile previously. He was always a very kind-hearted boy. This Castor is much more like the one I remember. Well, I'm certainly not complaining if he's finally realized what a top-notch bunch he's fallen in with. I sure hope that's it. I'd much rather he was with us than against us. Elvis, I brought along some extra provisions. Do you feel free to help yourself? I know how much you enjoy a bite to eat while on the road. Um, I alright then. Don't mind if I do. No use letting it go to waste, eh? Well, that's good that he's being nice to us. I really didn't like him as a character, but if he's gonna be nice to us, I guess it's okay. So the monsters are going to run away from us, it seems like, at this level, but I do want to get some levels on that bard job, so. That one didn't run. Let's 
Angel! Huh. Oh, what's next, I wonder? No big deal. Just nothing. Allow me. Hmm. What's the plan? I got Looks another like one. Did it. Now this is interesting.
Okay, we are at the end of this reservoir. Whew, another video done. Wow. Thanks for watching. If you're already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hit the button. Let's go. It's right down there. Like button's down there too. You can comment. If you haven't, I'm disappointed. Bummed out. Let down. But you can hit the button. Hit the button. Subscribe to me on Instagram. Subscribe to me on Twitter. You can even subscribe to me on Twitch. Any of those. All of those. Any of them. Why haven't you? Is the guilt trip working? If it is, you should have hit the button. But if you already have, thanks. Appreciate it. I'll see you next time.